What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about how the seasons will work in Diablo 4. There's a lot of new players out there that may not understand exactly how this is going to work. And if you've been hearing that you have to make a new character every season, that is true. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you would leave a, a like. And of course, consider subscribing to the channel as well. Now, there's a lot of players out there, like I said, I know that are brand new and they're kind of curious exactly how these seasons will work. One of the writers from Forbes uh, recently asked on Twitter, one of the developers, exactly how this is going to work since there is a battle pass in the game. And the battle pass is a new system. This was not a thing in Diablo before, but having to make a new character each season has always been a thing in Diablo. And he answered the question by yes, to take part in the seasonal quest line, mechanics, season journey, and battle pass, you will need to create a new seasonal character. Playing the campaign with the seasonal character, if you so desire or need to finish, will also progress the season journey and the battle pass. Now, this is not going to delete your other characters. If you have one or multiples created right now, those will be in the same realm they're in now, but there will be a seasonal realm where you will have to create that new character. So your other characters will still be there, but you cannot play the seasonal content with it. You have to have a new character each and every season. And this has upset a lot of the community because there are a lot of new players out there that have never played Diablo. And a lot of the veteran players, you know, kind of are used to this. And I know a lot of you out there may be used to other MMOs or RPGs where you progress seasons or battle passes and your character just continues to, you know, kind of progress from that point. Maybe they add more levels for you to rank up. And I think that's what a lot of people are kind of hoping Diablo was going to do. Maybe just add, you know, more ranks. You know, uh, each season you go up maybe 100 levels. You can go from 100 to 200 and, and so on. But that is not the case. You will still be able to play your characters that you are playing now before Season 1 starts. But each and every season, if you want to participate in the seasonal activities, you will have to make a new character. And I know a lot of people are not happy with that, considering they know seasons are going to last from two to three to or four, two to three months, excuse me. And they may not have the time to grind out a new character every two to three months. That is going to be a bit annoying for some players or not feasible for some players. You could still play in the realm that you're playing in now, but you would not be able to participate in that seasonal activity you know, with your other characters that you have already created. My only question and something I'm not sure about, and of course some of you may be a veteran player and you could answer this for me in the comments below, is how exactly this is going to work with your character slots. We only have 10 slots available. And of course, I have made one of each character. I have not leveled all five up to 100 by any means. I've leveled a few of them up to 50, the other ones still, you know, in the 20s. But I'm not exactly sure how the character slots will work because after 10 seasons, let's say, you would have all 10 slots taken up. So I'm not sure if they're going to be, uh, you know, just your seasonal character and you're only going to use it for that season and you're going to have that slot there available to you. And then, of course, the 10 slots that you have with your... Uh, characters that you have right now will still be there. I'm not quite sure how they're going to separate that out. So if you know that answer, leave me a comment down in the comment section. But I just want to make a quick video letting you all know that yes, you will have to make a new character each and every season if you want to participate in the battle pass and the seasonal content. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.